Hello everyone, we will continue that topic event-based functionality in object-oriented ALB and we took the example of double-click functionality and we got the expected output. If I will run this particular program, you can see whenever I'm double-clicking, yes, the item data of 77 document number is appearing. Whenever I am double clicking, item data of sales document number 78 from VBAP table is appearing. And we used double click event of CLGUI ALB grid class. Same to same concept of events we used. We firstly created a event handler method. Then we registered the event handler method and we have written the logic in the event handler method. Now you can see this is our own screen. This is our screen 100 which we created. In this screen, we created the containers and in the container ALB is displayed. Now, these buttons will not work automatically because this is your own screen. In the same playlist, when I displayed the ALV by object-oriented programming, normal ALV, at that time we have not used any functionality, event-based functionality. At that time also I covered this, yes, system will not take you automatically to the back screen because this is your own screen. So if you want to go back to the screen, you need to write the logic for the same. In addition to this, if you do not want to use SAP function, you can create your own functions also. So now we will go for this particular part. Suppose I will create a back button here. Whenever I will click on to back button, the control will go to the selection screen, means where we are giving the input. Now, now you all know, this is your screen 100. Whenever screen 100 will come, I want a back button here itself. It means we need to write the logic in the PBO of this particular screen, process before output of this particular screen. You all know every screen has two by default events, PBO and PAI. PBO before displaying the screen, PAI when you performed action on the screen. So I want a back button here, it means before that itself, I have to write the logic so that whenever screen will come, I have a back button here. Whenever I will click on to the back button, control will go to the previous screen. That logic I will write in the EAI. If you do not want to create your own GUI status, no problem. You can simply, simply write the logic in PAI. There is no need to create your own GUI status. Suppose we will create our own GUI status and we will create a button in the application tool bar. So what I will do, I will go to the program. And same thing is explained in the same playlist. When we cover the object-oriented ALV, normal ALV we displayed. So this is our screen 100. I will double click. Now this is our PBO. So I will simply uncomment this module. I will double click on the module. It is asking, do you want to create the module? Yes, I want to create the module. I will go for new include. I will go for yes. And you can see set PF status statement is automatically coming. I will uncomment. 
Now I will give some name to the PF status. So many times we covered this particular thing. Suppose my name of the PF status is order. I will double click. I will go for yes. Yes. I will give the short text. Suppose I will say PF status. I will go for OK. I will go to application toolbar. Now I will give some name to the button. I will not say name because whatever I will give here that will act as a function code. So I will write cancel. I will double click. So you can see this will act as a function code. Your system variable psi u com will capture this function code. I will go for OK. Suppose my function text is same to same. I will choose the icon. I will simply find the cancel icon. Relevant icon I will take. I will take this. Suppose I will give the information text to go back to previous screen. I will go for OK. I will take the shortcut. I will go for OK and I will activate. I will activate all the parts of this program. Yes. I will go to back button and I will simply go to back. I will simply go to back and I am running this particular program. I am giving the input. I will go to execute. Whenever we will click on to execute button, we are calling which particular screen 100. So 100 screen, which event will call process before output because this event is calling before displaying a particular screen. So whenever I will execute, 100 screen PBO will call. And in 100 screen PBO, we have written the logic to create our own GUI status. And have you seen our cancel button is coming? And previously these were SAP functions. Now SAP functions disabled because we created our own GUI status. Now on this cancel button, on this button, we want to go back to the selection screen. We want to go back to the input screen. If I will open in another session this particular program, whenever user will cancel, we want to go back to this particular screen. And you all know, if you want to go back to the previous stagged screen, what is the syntax? leave to screen zero. So many times we put the stress onto this particular statement. Leave to screen zero will take us back to the previous stagged screen. So I will go for that. So I will simply write the logic in PAI. If I will go to change mode of the program, now I will write the logic in PAI. You all know whenever you will click on to the button PAI will call. I will go to the screen. Now I will uncomment the module which is a part of PAI. I will double click. I will go for yes. I'll just wait. I think system is hand. Yes. I will go for new include. Yes. And you all know 
whenever user will click on to that button, but the function code we give to that button, cancel, cancel. So we will simply write, if psi u com is equal to cancel. And I will simply write, leave to screen zero. This part is explained when we displayed the normal ALV or simple ALV through object-oriented programming. At that time, I showed you both the things. How you can use SAP button to go back and how you can create your own GUI status also. Here, I am explaining through our own GUI status. Now, for the best understanding, I will open or I will, we will simply, simply understand in the debugging. I will go for breakpoint in the PAI. I will go for breakpoint in PBO also. I will run this particular program. Now, we will simply give the input. Now you all know this is selection screen or input screen. So what is the screen number of selection screen or input screen? It's a golden rule. It's always, always thousand. From this thousand screen, we are going to which particular screen? Hundred, hundred. By using which syntax? call screen syntax. So how our stack will be? Thousand screen is as it is. Now we are calling the screen hundred by using which syntax? Call screen screen number. So thousand will remain as it is and hundred will add it to the stack. If I will use the syntax, suppose if I am using the syntax here, leave to screen screen 100. If I will use this particular syntax, then in that case, what will happen? This thousand screen will be replaced by which screen? 100 screen. So thousand will not be in the stack. As of now, we are using which syntax? Call screen. We are calling 100 screen through call screen syntax. So in that case, Thousand is as it is, and on top of that, hundred screen will add. Now I will simply show you in that debugging board so that you can see the stack also. I will run. I will go for input. I will go to execute. So hundred screen PBO will call. And if I will show you the stack as of now. You can see the stack. We have 1000 screen and on top of that 100 screen. This logic will create a cancel button. And you can see we have the cancel button. Whenever I will click here, PAI will call. In the PAI, we have written the logic psi u com cancel. Yes, because this is our function code of the button. Just see the stack, 100 and 1000. If condition true, leave to screen zero will take us back to the previous stack screen. So it will simply, simply take us to which screen? 1000 and you can see we are on selection screen or input screen. Suppose if I'm executing and if I want to go for output, Now, if you want to change this title bar, you can change this title bar also. You have to write the logic in PBO itself because process before output will call, title bar will change and then our screen will display. So I will do this part. We have a statement here itself. We need to just uncomment, but yes. Screen events knowledge will play a vital role because based upon that only you can write the logic. 
So I will simply uncomment this. I will give some name to the title. Suppose I will say ORD. I will go for yes. I will go for yes. Suppose it will be sales order, header and item details. Suppose this is our title. I will activate. Now I will show you the output. Is it perfectly fine or not? I am giving the input. Firstly, PBO called. We got the title bar. We got the cancel button. Double click functionality, perfectly working fine. Now, whenever user will click on to this cancel button, it will take us back to the previous tagged screen. And that is our selection screen or input screen, which is 1000. And you can see we have the expected output. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we covered yes, because this is our own screen. So buttons will not work automatically. So you can create your own button also, or you can use SAP buttons. If you are using SAP buttons, you need to simply write the logic in PAI. But if you are going for your own buttons, you need to create your own GUI status. And this part we explained, I explained in the previous videos of object-oriented ALB also. At that time, I showed you both the things. I showed you this button also. And after that, I created my own GUI status also. If you want to learn that way, you can refer the previous video of object oriented ALB in the same playlist itself. In the next video, we will go for hotspot functionality. Well, as of now, we finished with double click functionality. That is a event based functionality. In the next video, we will go for hotspot functionality. So that's it in this video. Thank you.